or anyone can make that decision for their practice. Even if you're a solo practitioner, you can make a decision, I don't accept gifts. That's uh, you know, certainly within anyone's purview in their practice. Sometimes therapists give gifts to patients. And there's also no prohibition about giving a gift to a patient. I, I'm not necessarily going to ask at the moment for examples, but has, just by a show of hands, has anyone given a gift to a patient? Just a show of hands. Sure. And there's no reason not to give a gift to a patient. Um, so when I made this slide when you actually could get time on a parking meter for a quarter, but uh, sometimes therapists have given patients and clients money to, for their parking meters. Um, and I'll talk about uh, the flashlight. However, uh, one problematic gift to a patient was when a therapist paid the patient's mortgage. And the, patient, and, and the therapist paid the mortgage for several months. But then it became burdensome, and the therapist decided to stop paying the mortgage. And so the client made a complaint because the client felt harmed by the fact that the therapist had been doing this for quite some time and now suddenly decided to stop. So uh, certainly that was neither small nor appropriate on the part of the, the therapist. Um, flashlight, there was a therapist, and this might sound familiar based on the kind of gifts you've given. Uh, there was a therapist who was seeing a young boy who um, was a Cub Scout and his Cub Scout pack was going on an overnight camping trip, and he was terrified of the dark. And so they worked for several weeks, maybe even a couple months in therapy, on his fear of the dark, and he finally felt he could go on the overnight camping trip that he so wanted to go on. And the week before the trip, the therapist gave him one of those little flashlights. Uh, a very appropriate and meaningful gift. On the other hand, one of the cases that came to the Ethics Committee had to do with that last bullet point up there where a therapist uh, gave a calendar which each month had a nude photograph to their client. Uh, not surprisingly, that ended up as a case for the Ethics Committee. Not a good gift from a therapist to a client.